In this video, I'm going to show you how to download a CSV file from portal.azure.com uh, for your Azure Active Directory users within your tenant. So I'm in portal.azure.com. Uh, now, Azure Portal will host all your Azure Active Directory components. So if you navigate to Entra ID, uh, you will be presented with a screen of all the users and the groups within your organization. So if you see over here, I'm already logged into portal.azure.com and uh, this is my uh, basic tenant. And uh, you will see uh, users over here and these are the set of users within my uh, trial tenant, okay? Now, this users uh, now can be a normal user or they can be a guest user. So I have got a whole bunch of uh, users listed over here. Now, what the goal of this exercise is, you know, how do we export this, you know? Now, we have an option to download users from here, but this is from a U user interface perspective, okay? So, not everyone will have direct access to Azure Portal. So, how do we download the CSV file for all these users? So, I'm going to make use of uh, PowerShell. Uh, so, let me um, get into PowerShell. So, if I type PowerShell, then uh, I'll say Windows PowerShell and I'll do a right click and say run as administrator. Now, this will open uh, Windows PowerShell in administration mode. So, I'll just track this here. Yeah. So, this is the PowerShell window in administration mode. Now, what is the first thing we need to do here is let me minimize this window a bit. Yeah. So, first thing, uh, you need to verify whether you have uh, all the required packages or not uh, for Azure AD. So the first command is install dash module uh, dash name uh, Azure AD, okay? So just check whether the module exists or not. If it doesn't exist, it will prompt you to install it. If uh, it is already installed, then uh, you should be uh, good to connect with the Azure Active Directory. So let's say you're installing the model from an untrusted repository. I'll say, okay, yes. Let me say yes to all, I put A, and then it'll say Azure is already installed. Okay, so all good for me. Now the second step, what I need to do is like connect to Azure AD. So connect dash Azure AD. Now it will prompt me for authentication. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna authenticate myself. So let me type in my email address. So this is how the prompt will look like. Okay, so I'm just typing my credential. And then it will ask me for the multi-factor authentication. Okay. So Sixty. Okay. So this is good. So I'm now connected to Azure Active Directory. Okay. Now it will give me the details of my tenant, tenant ID, and all those things. Let me clear this up. And now uh, there is a command called as get Azure AD user. Okay. And this will list down all the Azure AD uh, user within my tenant. Okay. So this is just a command. Okay. Now, what I want is, uh, again, I'll type this command and I'll say, I want this to be exported into a CSV and let me give the path. Okay, so maybe C slash uh, all ad users dot CSV. Okay. And it will uh, download the CSV file. So let's open the CSV file. I've already uh, created uh, a different CSV file. So let me show you the CSV file, which I created a while back. Now this is a CSV file, which it will generate. Now the columns, which the CSV file has a lot of columns. So it has got a, a microsoft.open.ashad.model.user. So then there is an object ID, object type, account enabled, whether the account is enabled or not. Uh, then uh, age group, 
assigned licenses. So anything which is useful is like, I would say account enabled, it will be useful for you guys. Uh, maybe there is like, if there are any assigned plans, it will show you here. Uh, then there is a city column, then there is a company name, uh, consent provided for minor, uh, country, uh, department, uh, dir sync enabled, directory sync, display name, given name, uh, job title would be useful uh, for some email address, yes, definitely useful. Uh, then we have postal code, uh, preferred languages, uh, and uh, then there are some date type field like refresh tokens valid from date time, uh, state, state address, usage location, user principal name. So like this, you will be able to download the CSV file. Now, what are you going to do with the CSV file? This CSV file will be helpful for you to import this in say Power Platform environment, or maybe uh, take it from one tenant and put it in a different tenant, but by changing some domain or subdomain within the application. So there are multiple use cases for that. Uh, so, so the purpose of this whole entire purpose of this video is, you know, uh, how do we uh, extract the users from your Azure Active Directory tenant and put it in a CSV file. So that's it, folks. Uh, thanks for watching.